Hi everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die, episode 21 with me Sid, and uh, we're over here in our new base, I've done a whole load of, uh, if you if you actually look at the day on day 33, so I've kind of skipped a few days ahead, next whole day is day 35, and I'm midday on day 33, so I've got various things out, I've had the, um, I've got this bench making um, cobblestone rocks, I've had this making what a little bit of oil shale we had, um, this thing is currently smelting iron to make some nails and the likes uh, and we've got a little bit of food in here over here is our raw materials to smelt I'm not smelting everything yet because I don't want to get trapped with everything uh, I have rearranged all of our chests so we've got plant life um, tools actually tools and clothes uh, weaponry and weapons mods and ammo um, stuff, uh, materials, raw materials and the likes, miscellaneous um, blocks and engines, I, I, I will actually scrap a whole load of these but I do want to keep a few as well, medical, what's left of our food which is really actually not very much at all and, uh, and mods, um, now I have since we went out gone and done some scavenging for a couple of days so for example I did that one on day 32 that that's the same as uh, this one so I didn't bother again I've tried not to do anything we've not done before so you know this is day 26 day 29 I did the strip club day 31 also did that one on day 31 and we did that one on day 31 that's where we got the oil shale from um, Day 31 and day 31. Nothing much to really report other than a whole load of stuff. But I've also upgraded all of the blocks around the edge except for these top few edges of this uh, the ziggurat. I've also gone down here and now I've dug out the extent so we go that way we go that way and we go that way to those walls and I've started putting a a room in here this first level is going to be our armory so we're going to get this all upgraded to concrete get an iron a vault door actually on there probably if we can and you know basically start working this area out down here it's a mess at the moment but you know Rome wasn't built in a day this is definitely not Minecraft when it comes to building so that's the thing too however we have um, some things to do and they are in this chest here so this is the loot that I picked up from um, the various scavenging things so we've got a sniper volume 3 rifle um, so we'll actually just use that we've got a chainsaw schematic we've got an SMG schematic We've got urban combat now this is the really good one because this is the one that basically allows me to not detonate landmines when i step on them um something that probably could have been used by merlin in kingsman 2 but hopefully that's not a spoiler for anybody who's not seen it but it's been out a while surely it can't be <laughs> um pocket mod uh what did we get there self-defense do 10 percent more damage to humans Probably not a great deal of use on a single player world. And 10 more uh, bears handy. And we've got a spare one of those, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, we've got a recoil rod and spring mod. Uh, silencer mod. <laughs> Schematic. Oh yeah, we got that baby. That's going to be good. Acid. Uh, we get a little bit more acid. We've now got the cement mixer. Schematic. That's important. And we have the enforcer book which is yeah I and we also have a treasure map which we shall read and accept it so that will get some buried treasure this I think we'll scrap I, I put it there as a tier 6 thing but I don't think I'll ever use it and we'll take that as well so where we are right now is we are sitting pretty with quite a few nice bits and pieces. Um, I don't know whether I've got anything that I can use that mod in. Uh, I've also, let's have a look, pocket mod that's got a triple, that's got a double, we could put a triple in there then. 
So let's get you jump to our mods, modify, and put the triple in there. Uh, leg armor has got a double. Boots, I don't believe, can have them, and they're only level one anyway, and neither can the helmets. So I think that's about as good as we can get with that right now. So put that away. So we've got several things to do, but I think the first thing we need to do, actually, is go and eat and drink. Let me just go and grab a... I've got a coffee, so we'll got that up, but I'll go and grab some of this food here. We'll use that, and I'll... I'll eat five of those, that's equivalent to 50 food. If we get really desperate, we can go to the vending machines and buy canned goods from those, so it's not the end of the world. But we've got quite a few things I want to do today. Um, but now we've got this base, we can actually do a lot of building on the night cycle as well. So everything is getting the correct amount of, you know, we're, get, we're getting a good amount of usage of all the things. Let's just use bottled water for now. So 20, 40, let's stick 80 in. And uh, they can go in there. Now the only other thing is, have I got, I've got three skill points available now. And I've been looking at some of the tips and tricks. So for example, got to find it. Nope, somewhere in here. It's been recommended that you always take um, level one of lock picking because it increases your chances and you can craft lock picks. So I might as well because we've got quite a few lock picks anyway. We've got Lucky Looter. We're not getting a huge amount out of salvage yet, but we have got a very high perception. Dead Eye gives me rifles. So let's go with rifle shooting because I intend to get the marksman rifle at some point and that's it that gives us and we can craft quality three. we've got a quality five rifle it's not an issue so armed with all of that I'm going to just go and grab the, the fuel we've uh, crafted in here which is not a lot but you know it will help us for a while so the first thing I would like to do is head off Hang on. Uh, I'm holding E. Thank you. I would like to head off to the trader. Um, and see about trading up some of these things. But I don't want to go to my usual trader. I obviously I've played this map a little bit myself. Um, and I happen to know that over this way apart from there being a, um, a bullet store there, sorry a graveyard um, if we come down here this is not the, easy, the other ways and we'll leave the piggy for now he's not going anywhere building store <laughs> there's a couple of building stores here these builds where they're just absolutely full of raw materials Oh, hello. How are you? Let's just have him. There we go. Right. Let's carry on. So over this way is another trader. There are, I think, I think it's six traders in total on the map, and I've been to most of them. Um, a lot of them are way away from here, but this gives me access, relatively easy access to two from this position where we built the base, which was kind of a a part of the decision for picking it. But um, I'm just going to deal with this chucklehead. How you doing? Ooh, that 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 sounds bad, mate. Whoop! Well, he got a little bit of wiggle on then, didn't he? Ah, bird nest. Ah, just feathers. 
Oh, there's another fellow down there. But this is the trader. This is, uh... I think this is Joel off the top of my head. It's not... My least favourite trader is Wrecked. He's, um... He's quite rude. Yeah, especially to an armed man kind of thing. Dead, dead. Okay, so this, again, we've got a trader. We'll pick up our trade goods. Uh, bu 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 bu. Plenty of those. Now, I'm going to do the usual as well in here quickly. So, obviously, there's stuff you can search, but you can only do these ones once. They don't, they don't respawn. Born, so and apart from the fact that we appear to have attracted the attention of somebody outside and can we see him from either way we can get up there let's have a look I mean you can't there's, there's no way they can get in as you can hear this is indestructible but doesn't mean you want them Missed him. Oh, hurry. Any more? For any more? No? Okay. Alright. So, obviously we can't scrap these down. These are good scrappage, but you can't scrap them because it's a protected area. But we can loot all of the things, so let's just go and quickly do that and then flog some stuff and see what this guy's got for sale. You got have you got anything on this floor that's lootable? You can't even pick the chairs up, can you? Um well, we can scrap we can do that. But might find a little bit of food. I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna get rid of you. And you. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't mind if I do. A bit of duct tape is always nice. Yeah, dirty water. Yeah, and scrappage. Anyway, there's not, there's unlikely to be anything OP in here, so I'm going to just quickly run around and search this place out, and I'll be back with you in a moment. All right, we've uh, we've looted the place out. There's um, some blue in there, which I can't fit in my inventory right now. Thank you, Survivor. My family and I are in your debt. Here is your reward. Don't remember doing that, but there you go. Um, inventory. Let's get the cells on first, shall we? So that will give us um, the monies. And, and obviously free up some slots in our inventory. Let's see what this guy's got for sale. Uh, and there's going to be a kind of a mixture of things I want. One is books, uh, and the other is going to be, well, it's basically anything that's actually useful. Let's, let's not be unrealistic. So Shotgun Messiah uh, for 950 is a buy. Might as well have that. <sighs> Am I that bothered? Batter up volume three. Ah, we'll buy that. Uh, am I that bothered with that? I suppose I should get it. I can't afford, obviously, a gyrocopter or anything. That that's just plain fiction, right now. Um, but let's have a look. What else this guy has got for sale? Um, you know, I've never used a. I'm going to have a. I don't know. I can probably make one of the probably really cheap, but. Doesn't matter. Cooler, old sink, uh, fountain. I don't think any of this is actually of any use to me right now. So that's fine. These. I think you probably get them cheaper out of the vending machine, to be honest. Anything interesting in the clothing department? I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. 
not worried about ammunition so we can ignore that building materials uh, concrete mix is it's quite a lot actually I don't I'd rather mix it myself right now I think yep we'll leave it and lockers now I will take a couple of those because they will in fact I'm going to take all of those because they'll they'll do for in the actual base metal pipe straight I don't even know how you can make that you know no that's fine real pleasure yourself out there I will what you got for jobs tier two buried supplies south yeah we'll take that one thank you um do this for just anyone in the wasteland that didn't sound creepy at all right so let's quickly use that and that and that uh, oh hang on let's put those away I'm going to quickly refuel the bike if I can hang on. Uh, right so we've got some furniture for when we want to go now I'm going to follow the road around just so you can see how this actually how you normally get to this but it's just a little dirt track runs all the way around the outside out around the outside like a buffalo girl apparently according to the song um, hello how are you search that while we're here and it's just feathers again the birds around here just do not lay eggs so we are going to need engines because I'm going to make concrete mixers that's a thing that's on the list we also need um, oh, what else do we need just trying to think now oh, we should search it first maybe and scrap and take we'll do we'll deal with this chucklehead that's walking over to us in a minute he's not going anywhere fast um so we're going to scrap a few cars on the way down just to see if we can get the things plus they're in the way anyway on the road these ones on the road uh, i have a habit of driving into them when i'm not paying attention So scrapping them down is is always a good idea. Uh, while we're at it, we're also going to grab this stuff here because we want that as well. Right, let's go and deal with these chuckleheads. Scrap a few cars, and I'll see you back at the ranch. All right, I've scrapped a whole load of cars down. I haven't even I've just literally driven all the way down um, this. Well, um, I need to pop whatever fuel I've got in there, which was actually a goodly amount. Didn't get much in the way of engines. Um, got some brass though, which is nice. Um, shot a few zombies, which is also nice. It's almost a night cycle, and here is our little friendly uh, Damn it, how did I miss that? Um, so we're on the night cycle. So the nice thing here is now we've got this base. We've got a night cycle routine which we can get into, and we can obviously build things, process things, dig, hammer, um, whatever we need to really, which is which is always handy. Uh, I'm going to put the that's the bucket technically is a tool, isn't it? So um, that's motor part uh, that doesn't go in there yeah I'm still trying to now I've given myself a a system of storage I now need to get my head into the habit of using it um, because obviously it's currently not and yeah it's going to be entertaining for a while uh, there are all raw materials as is that so that will just go in there with the Stuff. Oh, hang on. And uh, 
and that that's part of what we're doing uh, where are we so you and you go in there that is a tool which we're going to use at some point but not for this because again we're not really there. that's for want of a better word food the bucket is a tool and we should be okay to ditch those in there how are you you need some more about 15 minutes worth that should be enough um, so what I need to do now is I think is get the concrete mixers because the next thing we're going to need to do is things this uh, cement mixer isn't it iron springs engine and mechanical should be doable Forged iron, springs, engine and mechanical parts. Engines, I've got three. I'm going to just do two cement mixers for now. I would like, ideally like to have about four or five. Um, get make me two of those and craft them up. They're going to take a while. So in the meantime, radiators, they need to be put away. We can... Uh, I'm going to get on with doing some digging and uh, I will see you in the morning unless anything entertaining happens. Sounds like we've got visitors uh, in the form of a horde, so, well, a wandering horde, and wandering hordes are, of course, great XP pinatas, so uh, let's deal with them, shall we? Oops. Hello. Right. Where are the rest? Oops. Oops. Don't shoot my headshot. Damn it. How I hit miss it. Those rangers, I really don't know. Wasn't that big a horde, was it? Let's go and have a look, do a perimeter check while we're doing it, because I don't want to go down there just to hear another one. But um, looks to be reasonably clear. Now, there's a few, well, most of these houses I haven't even touched yet, and obviously houses are fairly good sources of food, so at some point maybe we'll need to do that. Let's just have a look how... Uh, we've got one cement mixer, so we might as well get you down. Um, I will put you there for now. Well, how's the other one coming? Yeah, miles away. So we should, in theory, now hopefully be able to. If I go and have a look at the, uh, that, and then double check the recipes, concrete mix is basically sandstone and cement. So if I jump in here, I've got sand, and I should have enough stone now. I'm going to set this one running as concrete mix just because we can but when the next one's done um, we need to start making crushed sand um, and we make that with stone in the things which is the nice thing about digging out a hole down here of course is that we um, we make a lot of raw materials for this the downside of course is that all of this is generating heat so we're going to get screamers before sooner rather than later but i'm just down here sticking in roof sections at the moment over here and then i'm going to kind of expand this out uh and i'm thinking it's going to be more like a vault with lots of underground rooms and maybe some stairs going down and some support bits i'm not entirely sure on my design yet but i'm not going to be just going to be doing a massive great big square so i'm kind of getting these in oh pardon me just to uh set the perimeter the, the perimeters edges and then we can work from there and you know fit some some bits in and i think what i may do over here is um get a little bit of this going uh, on face so we'll get you know a, a bit of a shape that's actually not the right block to put there 
which was stupid, but there you go, wasted one, doesn't really matter. Anyway, let me continue on working around in here, and, uh, and I'll be back with you in a short while. All right, well, there's the morning bell. Um, I haven't got a huge amount of digging done. I have done a whole load of upgrading, though, so um, I'm just going to finish. I've only got a little, little bit more to do on, well... I've got more to do on the wall. I've got one, two, three, four more to do. We'll we'll do those again. There's no point wasting the day cycle on this. Uh, I have upgraded this uh, one level to uh, the next level of uh, stone and all the way up as well. So, oh, I say all the way up. Uh, I can see a spot that I missed. There. Uh, there. But apart from that, done all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did set the concrete mixer running. I've got the second one running yet. Let me just go and put some of this stuff away. So, the name of the job today... Pop you in there. Uh, all of you go in there. What, what is where that should be? Oh, I see. Yeah, that is, what is where that should be. And... Oh, I need to want some stone. I need to make. So if I look at my stone supply, let's just sort it. I should have. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make six thousand sand in the next turn uh, in the other concrete mix, which should be ready now. Um, crush sand, six thousand of it. Off you go. Uh. I do need to eat, so let me just have a look. What have I got in the way of quick food? I haven't really, have I? Drink seems to be okay. Let me just go and have a bit of steak. A bit of steak out straight out of the campfire then. Let's use one of those, because I don't really want dysentery. And one, two. So yeah, with food is an issue we do need to do, and farms are a thing, but I, I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with the upper level, how I'm going to deal with the birds. Um, so I can't really put them here. I could kind of maybe put them down the middle of one of these wings. That might work. Yeah, maybe we'll get that done over the next night cycle. But first things first, let us go and visit the other trader. Um, Oh, hello. Let's um, pick up a little experience, shall we? Hello. No, no, no. Oh, God. He's a... Uh... Get, get... Get down, you get. Right. Nobody else about, is they? Okay. Um... Yeah, sometimes they just rush it in. I don't know. Uh, I've never never figured out what the rationale or the mechanism for that is. But we're going to head back to the first trader to see Trader Gen and see what they've got on their books for purchasing and also things. Now, we also do have... Um, if we have a look at our quests... Hang on. Quests. This is the one we're tracking... Um, now, so we'll head to that one. Oh, I better oh. get a bit closer, John. Come on. Hello, Twitchy. Well, oh, you made me hit my bike. You get that. Was not cool. Um. Yeah, do that quest and pick up um, whatever reward we get for that and also see what they've got to purchase. And then we're going to hopefully swing around the desert a little bit, which is only over there, and find some um, oil shale. So if I can get like 6,000 oil shale, that will give me something stupid like about 60,000 fuel, which should keep me running for a while and allow me to run the auger a bit as well, which, you know... I've just been a little bit cautious with that because I don't have a, a fat lot of fuel right now. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll head over to the. In fact, let me just pop it on the 
Let me go and find. Where is this buried treasure? It is there. Yeah, I will see you when we get there. All right, we're at the uh, thing. I also, oops, hello. I um, I indulge my scrapping instincts and also hunting instincts and picking up things. I've scrapped a few cars, got some more engines, so that's handy. Um, and a bit of meat, so that's also handy. But now we need to find these supplies so they should be somewhere around about here we have got another skills point to spend as well i have leveled up so um i'm um, in an hour anyway to put that but because we're going to be using a lot of materials i don't think it's going to be three down somehow no um I think I might go with a uh, minor 69er um, just to get the upgraded the ability to build the upgraded tools, although we're some way off of that. Uh, no, nope, not there. Oh, God damn it. Let's do a quick repair, and while it's repairing. So, yeah, I was looking at minor 69er, which gives you things or mother load which gives you more ore but we do need to put a point into strength to do that do i want to do that maybe i don't maybe we should go with um that to give us some more stamina yeah uh, fortitude uh, da -da. I'm never sure where to. I think we'll go, we will go with um, hiker and just up our up our speed around the place because we are a bit sluggish and uh, I don't want to get more nimble. If I'm going for a stealth and uh, parkour style build, uh, there we go. You'll find it eventually, right? And of course, we're going to have a whole bunch of Zeds come at us the moment we open it. So let us. Really? It's not the... Hi! Oh, hello. Hi. Ow. You got... Oh, look at it. Just the one. Hello. Well, that seems to be... Oh, no, there's one there as well. Let me just... Pop that once. I think we might have woken somebody up in there. <laughs> All right, let's head to see Trader Gen and see what we can find over that way and then of course we need to come back and uh, well we need to do the other buried thing but yeah we need to do the oil oil is the important one next so let's not let me get sidetracked don't let me get sidetracked um, yeah I'll be back in a moment all right here we are uh, so let's go and see what we can you got the dukes i'll make the time that's an airdrop there's an airdrop just over there i might go back and grab that let's Good have a look there i knew you could do it uh 52 361 complete uh let's have a look what they got in jobs and i want to be east ideally clear zombies tier three northeast let's just go straight for have just a look at that for someone with your talents yeah, okay. we'll go with that one. Be careful and try not to get yourself killed. I will. Um, we'll sell that and we'll sell those. And we should be able to have a look at what you've got. Sniper Volume 1. Definitely bite. Uh, I think that's everything there. <sighs> yeah, there's all these nice things for decoration, but. You know what, because that's a lot of money though to spend on stuff. If I was more flush, oh hello, what we got? 
So for the fountain, I'll think we'll have a water cooler because that will become my um, drink storage. Beer, no. Scope times four. Uh, no. I'll find those. Blade traps. They see they are cheap, but I'm not kind of really heading that direction at this moment. Like the dart traps, you know, I'm not really going there. Uh, da, 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 scrap leg armor. What I actually want is military armor. Uh, a military helmet would be nice, actually. Repair kits, forged iron, forged steel, weaponry. He's really got not got a lot of anything that I want. All right, that's I just fine. I knew you'd find something you'd like. <laughs> so much better since they gave Trader Gen a, a voice rather than uh, the same voice that every other NPC used. Either. Right, to the desert. I'll see you when we get there. I forgot I was going for the airdrop. All right, well, that was uh, interesting. Oh, table saw schematic. I mean, you don't normally bother that much with those, but you know what? It's free stuff. So, uh, and we shall, uh, we shall actually use that. Most of this we can scrap down for parts, but or sell. Anyway, now to the desert. All right, it's like it doesn't want me to actually go to the desert. There's just dropped an airdrop right behind me on the other side of that. Um, I'm not sure whether that's a shotgun messiah or a shamway factory, but you can see the trail coming down. So uh, I literally just stopped to take out a wolf for its meat because you know be wrong not to, and. Uh, yeah, it's over over there between the um, the factory and the cabinet maker. So while we're here, it'd be kind of stupid not to grab it, wouldn't it? And it might have some good stuff. You never know. But uh, let's head around there. It's not far, so I'll not bother cutting for this. It is a shotgun Mashiah factory. That's the tier five uh, structure, by the way. So. But not whoa, hello. We'll not play with that right now. And here we go. Yeah, stuff. Right. Now to the desert. Alright, I've just realized where that tier three quest is. Is it the bear pit? And for those of you in any doubt about whether that is just a clever double entendre, not the bear pit, the bear den, um, it is not. It is actually a, uh, there are bears in there. <laughs> I think the zombie bears off the top of my head just to make things, you know, good measure kind of things. I have been stopping and grabbing all of the rotten flesh because we're going to want that for... Now what we need is this stuff here. This is oil shale. Um, which is not a million miles from our base, which is just down there. Around, around, around that corner, I think. Is it? Hang on. It's there. <laughs> so we're gonna start digging around in here and grab oil shale now I was did I I umdenard about what to spend the skill point on didn't I but I didn't in the end I, I used it on yeah um, so I think what we will definitely want to get mother load to increase the yield from mining this kind of stuff because otherwise you know we're just wasting a time but this is uh, handy, it's close to home um, so I'm going to grab you know, a big chunk of this and I will see you once we've finished mining alright, it's uh, it's getting on it's 7 o'clock in the evening um, my food's getting a little bit low and I thought rather than continue on here I'm just going to pop by now I can't remember whether the bar has a vending, I know the uh, 
the strip club that has a vending machine in it and I've, I've raided oh they do have a vending machine right outside look oh I need my money um, yeah let's just go and see what we can get grub wise because I don't want to get too you not working okay you don't work okay there's not one inside is there no all right um, we'll go and try the uh, strip club one there's another oil shale that the oil shale every around around here that's really handy anyway um we got what did we get um three just over three thousand so that's not too bad we'll take um the beef ration and we'll take a can of tuna and we'll have a we'll, We'll have a yucca smoothie as well, and maybe a golden rod tea, just to wash that down with, that should. So we should be good now to go in and eat, that's 15, which will go in nicely. It's only 5, but you know, but that's another 22, so that can go in as well. Uh, and we'll get a yucca smoothie down our neck as well while we're at it. Incidentally, that mine over there that we started is also a lead mine, um, which is handy. I tend to not find that I use that much ammo because I, t I try to avoid the fully automatic weapons um, just because spray and pray just doesn't suit my my game, my style of play. Um, I, I much prefer a, a you know a measured response to things trying to kill me than just spraying bullets wildly around so I'm going to continue working on down there I probably will I mean tomorrow this tomorrow is horde day so we'll probably do that bear pit and do the horde day but I will also continue to do this kind of between episode work wherever possible um, because it does speed the process up somewhat when we come to do, you know, certain things. Uh, let me scrap those. So, you know, for example, if I were to go and raid the waterworks, I will do that on camera because we haven't done the waterworks before. But if I were to go and do one of these small houses, which, you know, I can do three or four of those in a day, um, are probably not really worth the recording because they're they're pretty samey, or at least as far as I'm concerned, they are. That's how I you know feel about them. They're they're a very samey kind of environment. But what we do need to grab is that because I want to go over to you and make gas can. Now, if I go, we need to put 44 minutes worth in. Wow. Okay, that's going to hit you and rock the heat level up, but that's fine. That's not. 44.1. There you go, 45. Have the lot. Mix. Um, and in terms of here, we've got some lead and some iron and another uh, thing. So yeah, I'm going to put this lot away. I will work between episodes to continue beefing this base up um, the the obvious one we're going to be doing I really could use a nail gun but um, you know we've got a thousand concrete there for example so we should be going out there with our hammer and starting to concrete up the outside wall now what I would do again like we did before is I would almost certainly start here uh, do the bottom layer then the next layer and, and just spread it around like that really good for XP so I'll be doing that over the night cycle and uh, until next time thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you when we go and play with the bears bye for now